Hi guys, happy midweek to everybody. Welcome to my art classes forum on YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm so glad you tuned in today. Um, I'm sure your week has been quite busy. Monday, Tuesday, the most boring day in the week is over and we are heading towards the weekend. It's going so fast, isn't it, this match? Well, thank you very much for tuning in today. To subscribe, press the red button on the right of your screen, the grey bells button to notify you when I go live streaming or I have uploaded a new video. The thumbs up for like and the thumbs down for dislike. And the most important of all, do not forget to leave a comment. In that way, we keep the conversation rolling and interesting. Thank you very much. My topic today is about what's been trending um, in on the social media in the last few weeks. I didn't want to dive into it as I had spoken. I just I just did a quick video and I didn't leave any commentary that much on, on the video. And I think I did that about two weeks ago. It's the Congolese pastor, South African-based, uh, billion-dollar lifestyle pastor, Av Lukau of Alleluia Ministries. Um, he has been trending all over on social media. I mean, it's been fun, actually, because there have been so many mock videos about him. Uh, other people resurrecting and imitating him, make, trying to make a uh, huge, huge fun of him, which, which, which is so hilarious. Um, Pastor Alf Lukau is South African. He's a South African preacher. He's recently made headlines after claiming to resurrect a man at his church. The video has circulated all over social media. And in, in this video, you can see Pastor Lukao praying for the dead man at his church so that the disease we resurrect. Um, however, there has been a lot of, a lot of, lot of controversy concerning this because it's so, so many pictures have surfaced that this guy, presume um, the guy who resurrected from the, uh, the dead, uh, happens to be one of his crew members who is a cameraman and there are pictures of him filming and taking pictures of Af Lukau and it's quite noticeable. I mean, it's, it's a big laugh. It's a shame. However, the funeral home uh, whose ambulance was used to ferry the dead body to Af Lukau's church, they have distanced themselves from the church which has raised a lot of questions cons concerning the authenticity of Lukau's alleged miracles, not just these miracles, but he, the miracles he has done in the past. Um, they have threatened and they're going to be taking him to court because um, he has tarnished their image. That is the effect he's had on them and they don't want their... Um, image to be to be tarnished because they have they have a very good reputation and very professional and they have got a lot of clients and of course they want to be successful and have long longevity uh, longevity in the business af lukau is described um by his followers as a man of god he started this ministry a few years ago and he's well known to have healed a lot of people from their illnesses and they have reportedly come back to testify and he is reported to be one of the richest pastors in the world um he founded like i said before he founded the alleluia ministries and his wet is estimated is a law he's really really rich his wet is estimated to be over a hundred billion south african shillings and he has tens of thousands of members all over his branches 
in different countries and he's he he has branches all over he has branches in obviously south africa he has branches in zambia namibia he has branches in his home you know uh, um home of origin which is is the democratic republic of congo as i said he's not south african he's congolese but he's based in south africa he has branches in angola europe and in the south america i mean he's living big he's living large i mean you just have to watch the video and see for yourself he's got private jet he's got rose royces ferraris lamborghinis range rovers he has i mean he, he has harley davidson custom made bikes made in leather he has a bentley he has a rolls royce sport he has private jets you name it he's got it all i mean this brings into question in the authenticity excuse my language of um these so-called christian pastors are they really preaching the word of god to people in the name of god have they been called to do this job have they been called to do the job of God, the work of God? Gone are the days of um, um, uh, Moses and, and, and Jesus Christ when they used donkeys or walked with their legs and walked for miles and months to, yeah. to do what God has asked them to do. That this, the, the new pastors of these days are not having all that. They are living large and big. I mean, I was talking about some pastors in Nigeria, but this one is, no, 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 he's above all. Now, when you see these pastors, what they do, you, you know, when in the midst of, I always say that one cannot be the richest man or richest woman in the graveyard. You can't. That is poverty. That's a curse. Because you just have to look at the congregation. You just have to look at this congregation and see the suffering and the hunger in the eyes and the desperation in the eyes of his so-called congregation. I mean, this is somebody who has claimed to raise somebody from the dead and it's, it's, it's false. They are lies. The South African government is not doing anything. The Christian go governing body is not doing anything. It's a laugh, really. And then he's living so rich and, la and large. I would have thought that the Vatican, yeah, the Vatican, the, the, the Pope, who is the father of Christianity all over the world, would have called... I think it's time the Vatican gets involved in this, you know, and, and stop these things. I think it's time that African government shut down all these churches and only give licenses to those they feel has the credibility. What's up, guys? Talk about this, because it, it, this has gone out of hand. It, some of them have private nurseries, primary schools, secondary school, higher education learning, universities. They, some of them have nursing schools, but their members cannot afford to go to these schools. Yet, they, some of them will ask for a thousand or two thousand dollars tied, and people are rushing to give them this money. And I'm thinking, what power has he given to them? They sell books, they sell t shirts, they sell accessories, they sell all sorts of things. And you see people in the church who have not been able to feed themselves go there and buy these things, and they are suffering. Do you believe in all these things? I don't believe in t-shirts. I don't believe in special oils. I don't believe in special portion. I don't believe in all this special washing of the feet. I don't believe in it because I don't know the source of these people's power. I believe in my faith. I believe in faith. I believe that one should have a personal relationship with God. I believe that knowing God and your relationship with God is a journey. I know sometimes that we need help and we need to speak to somebody to help us at the time of need. But the fact remains, the fact remains that how do you know these people are really called and they have the true anointment? Because the minute you go in there, they're telling you to come and buy a book or put money down because you don't pay for God's service. You don't pay for a miracle. So I need your com comments on this. I want you my audience my fans uh to leave a comment and let's this is this is an open discussion it's open to everybody this is so interesting i really really want you to uh leave a comment on this because it's educational it's awareness i mean it's, i think it's time that african christians really have to sit down and reanalyze themselves 
okay subscribe to my youtube channel by pressing the red button on the right of your screen the gray bells button for notifications and that way you know when i go live streaming or a new video have been uploaded the thumbs up for like the thumbs down for dislike like i've always said leave a comment thank you very much bye